my dudes, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so what do we have planned for today is to work on the EG. Um, we are just basically going to add some mesh to um, my rear diffuser just to make it look a bit different to um, other diffusers. Um, it is something that I have been wanting to do um, but because of the shops obviously being closed I wasn't able to and I also couldn't find the exact mesh that I wanted. Um, so let me just show you guys the mesh that I have found. It's also the same mesh that I've been using for my fenders as well. So this can be found, I think it's like um, supposed to be put on the pan or something. So it could be found in any um, kitchen um, utility place. Um, and then also we might just do the sitting wall if there's still enough light. I also um, use this uh, the weekend. I actually drove the car in the rain, made a few videos. I'll just maybe put up a video um, over here. Um, so yeah, this is what we are going to do. Let me just show you quickly. Um, so this will basically be um, at the back of the diffuser. And then this is also uh, my fender. Hope you guys can actually see it's kind of dirty. Uh, so this is basically what I mean. I'm going to put this behind the diffuser over here. So I have to remove the diffuser and then just add it over here. I bought a lot of it so hopefully it's going to be enough. Um, the, also the reason for me buying this is so that it kind of black, black outs this. So you don't really see this part. So this is going to give it a more blackout type of look. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to remo remove the diffuser and then we can get started. So guys, we ran into a bit of a problem. Um, this one does not want to actually come out. I tried drilling it as well. Um, it's actually starting to melt the inside of the bumper. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do now. Um, I might just continue drilling this. Uh, and I just have to get some other hardware seeing that they are a bit rusted as well. And then just clean up this also. Okay, so while we're still um, figuring out how we're going to um, remove this, I just thought I'd get some cardboard. Uh, I'm just going to put the cardboard behind here, something like this, and then maybe just draw a line, an outline, so I can cut this. So I'm going to cut this in the meanwhile. Um, while I figure out how I'm going to do this, I have found um, these little bits my cousin gave me actually. So these might just work. Okay guys, so this is what they need to look like. Um, be in mind the oval shape does not have to be perfect um, because obviously this will be behind um, the perfect oval um, shape in the diffuser. As you guys see, I just cut it a little bit bigger. So the whole idea would be, um, just imagine that this hole is open over here, which is the diffuser, this will go over, and then I'll glue the side over here 
and it will create the perfect oval shape. Hey guys, I managed to get the fuse off. However, there were some casualties. I did um, kind of damage this over here. However, as you guys can see, all of these are kind of um, worn as well. So I did plan on spraying them uh, anyway. This was the carpet over here. Um, it's kind of getting dark, so I might just finish this video tomorrow. However, I am going to try to um, edit what I have recorded today so the video can come out sooner. Um, so see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Okay hey guys, I managed to do the first one, um, as you can see, it's actually really stiff, um, let me just show you guys what it's going to look like in the end, so this is basically what it will look like, I also do not want um, the mesh to go um, horizontal and uh, vertical, I want it to be kind of in an X shape, um, so I hope all of them will actually match again, but this is the outcome of what it will look like, or just the first one. So I'm just going to do the rest quickly.
And my dudes, if you're watching this, you made it to the end of the vlog. Uh, I do apologize for this video actually being all over the place. It took me actually a few days to finish up the diffuser. Um, so the reason for that is I'm a very impatient person as well as I did want to put out the video as soon as I could for you guys. So that has actually led me to attempting to spray the diffuser in the rain. Um, and it, it messed the whole um, diffuser up. I actually ended up sanding the diffuser down completely and then respraying it. However, I am happy with what it looks like right now. I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you do like um, what we have done to the diffuser, please give this video a thumbs up. So, this is actually the first time that I have skipped a whole week without uploading since December. So, that actually sucks. Um, however, we do have some exciting news. I don't know if you guys have noticed that um, the Wong City Track logo has actually changed. Uh, that is uh, with the help of a friend of mine, Shamil. Um, so he has actually offered to assist me with uh, giving the channel a, a little bit of a, a makeover. So if you guys are interested in any graphic design work, as well as he does do photo shoots uh, for cars and weddings, etc. His link will be in the description below. So just to end of the video, I'm going to put up a few of the Quarantine Queen features. Uh, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.